can you do this for me? Can you put your hands out, stretch them out like that in front of you and hold them like you're going to stop a bus? Let me look at it a minute now. Let me back off here. Okay, now hold them on up there. That's good. Okay, now you've got a little bit of tremor, but you've lost the what's called asterixes or flapping your head yesterday. That's much better. Yesterday when I had you do this, your hands are going like this, back and forth. They're not now. That's good. You can put them on down. That's real good. Now, you've got a beautiful room there, don't you? Yeah, you can look outside at the Laguna de Santa Rosa, and you've got, a, you've got the VIP room. It's a nice place there. I do think you're getting a lot better. Now, Mom, do you have any questions of me? No. Or daughter, do you have any questions? Oh, he, he's just doing better. Well, put, put it like this. You know, he runs some chronic renal insufficiency. And what happened when he came in the hospital this time with his flare of his chronic obstructive lung disease and the flare of his congestive heart failure, his, kid, his chronic uh, renal failure worsened. And we've got him on medications right now to try to get his kidneys better. And they are getting better. Cynthia, he's putting out how much urine per hour? A little over 100 cc's an hour since 7 a.m. That's good. Now, now the Bumex is down to one milligram. One milligram. And he's getting dobutamine at five micrograms per kilogram minute? I said dobutamine's off. He's just on nitro at 90 mics per kilogram per minute. Gotcha. We're, we're titrating that actively. For his blood pressure. For okay. His blood pressure. We should check just to make sure which way the creatinine is going at six o'clock this afternoon. Let's say 1800. Let's check a basic metabolic panel. Because I want to make sure that, because the creatinine is dropping. It's 5.3 today, 5.6 yesterday. And we just want to make sure it's heading the right direction. If not, we have to do some remedial steps. Okay. Okay. Cynthia, do you have any questions? Uh, no, I don't. And, and by the way, the family, you're very lucky to have Cynthia. She's a really experienced, excellent ICU nurse. The doctors are only as good as the nurses. And if the nurses are better... We give better care despite the doctors. <laughs> so that's not real. <laughs> In any case, folks, I'm going to uh, take a retreat here. Nice to see you. And I'll see you personally tomorrow, sir. I'll be back on call. Okay. Goodbye. Have... Yes, ma'am. I did have one You bet. Yesterday, uh, he wasn't doing too well. That's correct. And you said that the blood transfusions didn't work, but it might be... Dialysis. But we're not talking dialysis today. It looks to me like he's going to escape dialysis. Which is really good because that's, 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 that's one big intervention. Okay? Okay, so really PT is going to be working with him, getting him up, getting him stronger. And we'll see if we can get him off of these medications that require being in the intensive care unit and out either tomorrow or the next day. Okay? But he really has turned the corner, I think. Okay. You bet. Goodbye, folks. Nice talk to you personally. Bye-bye. Let's go see the other patient. I think Marion's got the other. Zopinex inhaler. QID? TID? TID? Let's do a TID. Okay. Because okay, it doesn't last that long. Um, okay. And on this gentleman, go ahead and switch him over to the uh, inhaler. Or, excuse me, to, okay. to the ambient breathing treatments. The Duonib. Okay. Now, how much oxygen do you have him on? 40%. That's good. Now, if he fails today, if he, if he gets, if the work of breathing gets too high, just put him back on assist control. Okay. Just like we did before. If he makes it, don't do it. But if he starts breathing faster than 30 a minute, he gets diaphoretic, looks like he's really getting a tachycardia, put, put him back on the ventilator. Okay. Great. Now, he is infected. It may be a urinary tract infection, maybe cellulitis, but he's well covered with the vancomycin and genomycin. He's fine. Now, is PT working with him, Marion? Okay, because he now will he open his eyes when you stimulate him? He has them this morning for me. Okay, rub his chest and see if he'll open his eyes. His eyes are opening. See that? That's positive. Okay, well, that's eye, that's eye opening. It's a little bit, but that's good enough. That fits. See if he'll respond to pain. Take his, um, just take a fingernail, press on it, let's see if he'll, re if he'll withdraw his hand. Now, 
Now, Jose, you got to put more pressure in there. Just take a fingernail. And do you have a pencil? Yeah, put on that. Now, press on there. See if he withdraws. Now, no, do it on the nail side. Do it on the other side. And just put pressure. Hold it like a bar and put pressure on the nail bed. See if he withdraws. Like that. Like that. That's it. Now, press there. See him withdraw? He withdrew to pain. That's good. And you'll be better thinking. When you go in renal failure, you tend to get confused. You were when you came in, but you're not now. Yeah. I think you're sharp now. Don't you, uh, Cynthia? Oh, yeah, yeah. He's doing real good. He's doing real okay, good. Okay, sir. So what I'm going to do is we're emphasize rehab with you, getting up, getting your strength. We'll check on the oxygen levels. Try to get you out of the ICU tomorrow. Try to get you home by about Monday. What do you think? Oh, boy, sounds great. Let's do it. Okay. Cynthia, you have any other suggestions? No, I think he's doing really good. He's been up in this chair for an hour, and I think he looks great right now. He looks really That's good. That's good. Okay, let's do it. Okay, sir. Well, listen, I'm going to bow out. Nice to see you. I'll okay. see you in person tomorrow, okay? All right. Thank you, doctor. Okay, goodbye now. Bye now. Cynthia, Barbara, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Good.